In under three minutes, I'm gonna show you how to import data into Excel from any website. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into it. You can choose whatever website you want, but since I play tennis, I'm gonna analyze the data on the ATP rankings, which basically shows the rankings for all the pro tennis players. So over in Excel, go to the data ribbon and then on the top left hand corner, click on the button that says from web. And if you do that, that's gonna open a new window and here you're gonna paste in the URL of the website. You can either choose the advanced section or the basic section, but the advanced section has a lot more steps and I wanna keep things simple in this video, so I'm just gonna go with the basic section. And then here you're just gonna paste in the URL that has your data and then you click on okay. And once you do that, it's gonna open a new window that's gonna let you choose which table you want to load. So it seems like Excel detected two tables in the website and the first one is called document but this doesn't seem like the right one because I want all the rankings of the players, but this is just some random table. But the next table, it seems like that one is the right one because it has the rankings, the player names, and any other additional information. So make sure to select the table that you want to load. And then you have two options. You can either load it or you can transform the data. If you transform the data, then you could make any changes to the data before you import it into the into excel but i'm not gonna do any changes i'm just gonna load it so now that i've loaded data i can see a nice table and the cool thing about importing data from a website is that you don't have to keep re-uploading the data every time there's a change so let's say for example that the atp website they update their player rankings then i don't have to re-upload the data i could just go to the query ribbon and then click on the button that says refresh and it's automatically going to change in excel and if you want to clean up the table then click on the edit button over here and it's going to take you to a new window called power query editor but i'm not going to dive that deep into it because i'm going to be talking about that in next week's video all right that's all i got for this video hopefully you found it helpful and as always make sure to smash that subscribe button to stay up to date with my content and if you made it all the way here then here's another video that you might like it's on creating dynamic data bars in excel and it's only three minutes long so i hope to see you there and thanks for watching